So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, if you're new to the channel and if you enjoy this video. So <laughs> Deontay Wilder has come out, and you know, ever since, um, ever since this guy uh, rejected that the zone deal to fight Anthony Joshua this year, he's been coming out saying that, uh, listen, don't worry, this fight's gonna happen at the right time. This fight's gonna happen at the right time. But my question to Deontay Wilder is, when exactly is the right time? When exactly is the right time? How much more do you got to build yourself up at 42 fights and 0? How much more do you got to build your... <sighs> you got 42 fights, right? You've been fighting for 11 years. How much more do you got to build, your, build yourself up to make yourself a big name to fight, the, uh, to fight Anthony Joshua? That's what I got to want to know. Um, how much more do you got to build this fight up? Everybody wants to see Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Waller, right? Everybody. You don't need to build up this fight anymore, right? Talking about, uh, pfft, it's going to happen when, you know, it's going to happen. Eventually, it's going to happen, bro. Don't worry. It's going to happen at the right time. Deontay Waller's 33 years old, Okay. The right time is now when he's 33, not when he's 36, not when he's 37, not when he's 38. Because when Wilder waits that long, people are not going to give Anthony Joshua no props for beating Deontay Wilder. They're going to call Deontay Wilder an old-ass man. What ex When exactly is the right time, Deontay? When you see Anthony Joshua getting uh, hit more than he usually gets hit in his last couple fights, when you see Anthony Joshua get dropped by guys who he's not supposed to be getting dropped against, when is the right time, Deontay? Why is Deontay Wilder trying to do what Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao did? Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao were supposed to fight in 2010. These two dudes waited until 2015. Why is Deontay Wilder trying to prolong this fight and do exactly what Mayweather and Pacquiao did? You saw what happened when Mayweather and Pacquiao waited five years, five fucking years. Look what happened in between the, in those in those five years that they were supposed to fight, that they should have fought. Mayweather looked like jack shit when he fought Marcos Maidana. Some people thought he lost the first fight, right? Manny Pacquiao, um, some people felt that he got a gift decision against Juan M M Manuel Marquez in the third fight. And then in the fourth fight, he got knocked the fuck out cold against Juan Manuel Marquez. Right, people were saying, "Oh, he was he was over the hill. He's not looking the same." Right, a lot of things happened in between those five years. The, both Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather were supposed to fight in the year 2010. That would have been the perfect timing for them two to fight. That would have been the perfect timing, but they waited into 2015. And during those five years, a lot of shit happened with these two because these these two guys continued with their careers, fighting, defending their belts or whatever. And some, you know, Pacquiao got lost. Pacquiao, some people thought he got a gift decision against Marquez. He got knocked the fuck out. He started looking at his fucking age. Mayweather started looking at his age when he started getting beat up against guys like Marcos Maidana. Because I feel that Mayweather would have schooled Marcos Maidana in his prime. Um, so, by the time they fought, it took away the luster because they weren't... Remember, back in 2010, they were... Uh, at, at least Pacquiao was like the... the uh, like, he had this aura about him. At the time, in back in 2010, people thought Pacquiao was unbeatable. People thought nobody was going to beat Manny Pacquiao. So it would have been the best time for Mayweather to fight Pacquiao at that time. Because imagine if he would have beaten Manny Pacquiao and schooled him in 2010. That would have made, that would have made May, Mayweather look really good. Because that was Pacquiao at his when he was at his most dominant. When people thought nobody could beat him. People were saying back then, he's the Mike Tyson of the welterweight division. So... But because these two waited so long, by the time they fought, it was like, first of all, it was a boring-ass fucking fight. Because both of these dudes fought, like, were very, with patience and they were too cautious. A, B, they were already over the hill. So you really couldn't give them that much credit for beating, for Mayweather beating Pacquiao. Because he wasn't the prime Pacquiao, right? So, I don't want that shit to happen with Deontay Wilder and uh, Anthony Joshua. I don't want these two motherfuckers to fight by 2024, and by then, um, maybe uh, Anthony Joshua already has lost a few fights. Um, like, say he lost a fight, and then he, he came back and beat the dude who beat him and regained the heavyweight championship of the world. Like, say he has two losses. Like, like say Wilder gets knocked the fuck out, or they actually give 
an opponent who beat who beats him via decision, the uh, the decision, and he loses via the scorecards, and he has a few losses. It wouldn't be the same. It wouldn't be the same because they're both even if they even if they both manage to win their belts again in the rematches <coughs> of the dudes they lost against, it wouldn't be the same because it's like okay, they have losses on their records now. People want to see this fight so bad because they're both champions and they're both unbeaten and they're, and they're both big punchers. So when you think of two unbeaten. Uh, fighters who are big punchers, um, you want to see these two fucking fight because you want to see them knock each other's heads off. And also, you know, the fact that Deont Deontay Wilder has a mouth that turns off, you know, boxing fans. A lot of Anthony Joshua fans don't like what Deontay Wilder's, you know, Deontay Wilder's opinions. In the same thing with the fan wars, you know, you got the Anthony Joshua fans, the Deontay Wilder fans, they're going back and forth with each other. Ever since Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua came on the scene, when they when they became champions, um, ever since they both became ever since Anthony Joshua became a champion, the the Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fans have been going back and forth with each other. It's like a war, and you know Wilder is afraid of Anthony Joshua, and Anthony Joshua is afraid of Deontay Wilder. This back and forth little pity shit, right? Um, and they're gonna keep doing this, and Wilder would would, would get destroyed by Joshua. Deontay Joshua would get knocked out by Wilder's right hand. All this bullshit, this childish bullshit is going to continue to happen. All this talking shit uh, on the internet will continue to happen until these two fight. I want these two fight. And even after these two fight, even whoever wins, let's say AJ knocks out Deontay Wilder cold in the first round. You know I'm going to be trolling Anthony Joshua. I admit I'm childish myself. I'm going to be trolling um, Deontay Wilder, I mean. I'm going to be trolling him. Okay, especially for all the shit him, he said during the years and his fanboy said through the, through the years. Regarding how the outcome of this fight, how Deontay Wilder would just knock out Anthony Joshua Cole with one right hand. Because Klitschko was able to catch him. Yeah. What do you think Wilder's going to do? <laughs> right? So, of course, I'll be trashing, uh, you know, just making fun of him. Not really trashing him, but making fun of him. Uh, and the same thing would happen with Deontay Wilder fans. If Deontay Wilder did knock out Anthony Joshua, you know that they will be doing the same thing. They will be making fun of uh, Deontay Wilder fans. <laughs> I uh, told you, yeah, uh, F British boxing fan, and all that bullshit and rubbish, right? So, again, guys, uh, when is the right time? What? When is the right time, Deontay? It's already, the right time is now, not 2025. Not when you see Joshua with a few losses. Not when you see Joshua looking uh, uh, not as good as he normally looks. Not when you see Joshua on the slide. You're already 33. You have to fight Deont uh, Anthony Joshua now. Because in five years, you'll be shot to bits. You'll be 38, homie. You'll be shot to bits. I'm telling you. And then and then when he fights, if he fights him in five years and he's shot to bits, no one's going to give Anthony Joshua credit for that. Damn well no LDBC fanboy. Hell no. They're going to be saying, oh, Joshua waited until Wilder was old. <laughs> That's why you fought him. That's why he beat him. What you talking about? Had this happened five years ago, Wilder would have won first round. Not how. 30 seconds into the first round. What you talk about? Good blue, you know. Wild Joshua purposely made the fight, the fight wait, prolonged the fight until 2024. And he only won because, you know, Wilder was shot to bits. You know, I ain't going to give him credit. Forget out of here, bro. Forget out of here. That's what y'all say. That's what y'all say. The time is now. Not in two fucking years. You greedy bastard. That's all I have to say, guys. I'm out.